Now, before we go further, I would like to make this uh, uh, statement here, and the statement is that nuclear science provides access to some of, some, some of the most sensitive and non-destructive measurement techniques, and this is the reason nuclear sciences are used in life sciences, and therefore you, you're using a PET scan, and you're using MRI and other devices in your medicine. Now, if you consider 10 becquerels per liter activity of IL-131, which was uh, an average uh, activity, or, or let's say the activity measured at SFU on March 19, this corresponds to 10 to the 7 particles, so this is 10 million particle of IL-131 per liter of water. One liter of water is 55.6 mol, or 3.3 times 10 to the 25th molecules. If you take the ratio, tells you that we are sensitive to 10 to the 7 parts per 3.3 times 10 to the 25th, or 1 part per 3.3 times 10 to the, to, to the 18, which means 3.3 times billion times billion we see. All right? And that's why we've seen IL-131 from Fukushima. Pick up the Geiger counter. Lay it down on top of the sample. Oh, right off the get go. So as I mentioned before, you have to wait uh, for this bar. These are 20 second cycles. You have to, whoa! That's really high, folks. At 1.2, you're, you're, you're to exit the area. That's 1.3. Now, we have to wait for five of these cycles to know if it's actually... Oh, oh. Okay, dangerous. Okay, d this is dangerous levels of radiation. Like I said, if we get four more, three more of these cycles here, uh, of these 20-second cycles, boy, I w I was so, I'm so glad I stayed out of the rain here. Uh, I just want to go wash my hair because in the first video when it first sprinkled down, uh, I've got, the, if you folks saw that, it did go up, it spiked up to 1 uh, in the first video but fell back down to like 0 0.77, 0 0.88 which is still uh, very high levels of radiation but this, I, I, like I mentioned, in the Soaks uh, manual that comes here, it says that if you um, get 0 0.4, you're to look for the source of the radiation. At 1.2, you're to exit that location because it's considered very dangerous levels of radiation. This is not good. Uh, Lake Louise, highly radioactive rain. There's no doubt about it. That little squall that came down here uh, was very short. Uh, wasn't very long. There's your one minute graph here. That keeps track of how much radiation it's picked up in the last minute. Look at those red spikes. Not good. Not good. And uh, like I'm far away here from the west coast. We're 0.66. Oh. I don't know what to say. This is um, oh, this is unbelievable, folks. Just unbelievable. So those of you that are doubting if Fukushima is coming here on the west coast, well, I'm in Alberta already, and here we go. 0.68. あった、福島第一原発でのそのま、ガスを抜くような作業で、え、激しくこのように。それで圧力が0.75キロ、あ、75メガパスカルから0.55メガパスカルまで、コンマ約あの、0.0.2メガパスカルです。はい。だから熱
and cover up um, wherever you look they, 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 they will they will always try and shift shift the information in some way that makes them come out on top hi everyone just north of Toronto it's uh, the 14th of August 2011 it's Sunday it's uh, 5.55 p.m. and uh, we just had a big rainstorm here I beat the all-time records uh, over for about one square meter of flat surface uh, smooth surface I got 11,000 counts per minute which uh, beats the all-time record of about 10,000 and uh, here's just a log and uh, it was measuring 400 counts per minute a few minutes ago see if I put the wand away it dies down very quickly uh, the leaves, everything is radioactive. And I've got a couple hot spots. I'm sure it's the same down in the city. And here's a little of where the water tends to collect. Well, I just picked the needle. I'll change scales. This was at the times one scale. And this is the times ten scale. Sorry, it's a little fuzzy. Oh, Here I'm at my solar panels. I brought a paper towel, uh, Bounty brand, uh, two of them, two large ones. I'm going to fold it a bunch of times. I'm going to wipe down one of the solar panels and uh, we're going to see what it gives. Right now the background radiation is uh, over 100. Uh, a little side of, yeah, 150. And uh, it bounces up and down. But that's not normal. Usually the background radiation here is around all. Uh, probably a hundred, uh, what am I saying, 40, 50 counts per minute. Sometimes it drops down as low as 20. So, here, I'm going to start wiping this guy here. Okay, so I've just wiped down the panels. This is what it looks like, and it's a little dirty from pollution. We have a quarry to the south south of us, so there's always a bit of dust. It's not actually the, uh, the dirt that's radioactive, it's colorless. Um, if the, I had cleaned that panel pr previously before the rainstorm, um, I would have collected very little dirt. So now I'm on the scale times one. So let's see what that gives us. Okay, just pick the needle. Let's go second scale times ten. Let's let it uh, settle back down again. Oh, peg the needle again. Let's settle down again. Let's try this again. There we go. And oh, we're actually a little higher. Well, this panel is actually much higher. That's uh, 200 times the 100 scale. So that's uh, 20,000 counts per minute. That's even higher than uh, the, the first panel I washed. Wow. Wow. Oh, this beats the all-time record for sure, which was about 10,000 uh, a few months ago. You know what I'm doing here. I'm going to test my downspout and see what's coming down in our rain. Wow, that's beeping. It is September 18th, 2012, here in 
eastern Ontario and we're getting some rain so I thought I would check my downspout again see what it's reading Whoa! Hot rain!